Hi guys. Now today we will study about new chapter and uh, this one is about current electricity. Also you have studied about current electricity in your previous class but that is not enough. Alright. Therefore <clears throat> suddenly something that uh, just come in our mind that uh, in current electricity what we will study. So you simply think that uh, current electricity that means flow of electrons, flow of charge like that. But that is not enough. In my view current electricity that means we have to study about electrical circuit. Alright. So in electrical circuit <clears throat> there are some elements are there some elements that means electronic components are there and they behaves differently because every element having its own characteristics and behaves all right so we will discuss about first of all you see just about current electricity So current electricity is the name of your chapter here but just to understand about you see there is a circuit a simple circuit in which number of elements be there just like a resistor and inductor a capacitor and work one more component just an emf all right so this one is a circuit in this circuit what we are seeing one resistor whose resistance are one inductor whose inductance is l one capacitor whose capacitance B, C and one EMF whose which is whose magnitude B, E be there. Now out of all these elements some elements are active and some one passive. Active that means that provide energy just behaves like a source. So here I am seeing that there are four elements be there in which this element I am talking about this element this element this one acts like a like an active element okay so this one is active element active elements that means that provide that uh, provide source that means it will gives you energy all right okay so that provides source means that gives you gives you energy so to whom it will gives you energy yeah that it will provide energy to the circuit now apart from that <coughs> we have resistor inductor and capacitor so this resistor is a passive element passive that means that is store energy so actually what it does that <coughs> In the flow of electrical current it resist the flow of an electrical current but in that situation what happens <clears throat> that some potential difference be there and if potential difference be there 
then energy will be dissipated from resistor in the form of heat energy okay so it is the work of resistance so how much energy that will dissipate to the surrounding that is to the surround by this resistor so that is half i square rt this one is the amount of energy that dissipated by this resistor accordingly you have this inductor so what it does in the circuit so actually inductor <coughs> that maintain the variation of current in the circuit okay but how much how much energy that is stored this inductor so the energy is stored by this inductor that is half l i square this much is your energy so by using this energy the function of this inductor that maintain the variation of current in this circuit all right okay now your last component is your capacitor so what is the function of capacitor so see this capacitor this one is a device this one is a device and it has property to store electrical energy okay so how it is store electrical energy it is store electrical energy in the form of charge by using electric field between the plates okay that means the amount of charge that deposited in this plates so suppose if q amount of energy be deposited in the plate of the parallel plate capacitor so how much energy it stores see the energy is stored by this device that is this much half of q a square d by epsilon not a this amount of energy that is stored by this parallel plate capacitor if the space between the capacitor is either vacuum or air for at that time and the surface area of your uh, capacitor plate of the capacitor be a and the separation between the plates of the capacitor be d so at that time this amount of energy stored by this capacitor okay so right now almost be little but almost likely we have understand about the function of the major element in electrical circuit now <clears throat> we will think about that a house electrical uh, in electrical circuit house current that flows so now from here we will go some microscopic study about the element element that means about the conductor okay so <clears throat> see so we have taken <clears throat> a part of conductor whose length b l all right and the cross sectional area of this is small length of a conductor b a okay and uh, this one is connected with a potential difference here suppose some potential difference be there you just suppose that uh, we be the potential difference be there so actually what happens that 
in a conductor lot of electrons be there all right so if lot of electrons be there inside a <coughs> conductor whose we have taken a small length this one is a very little small length there is l and this one is a uh, small uh, cross sectional area ab there and because uh, uh, this uh, Uh, length of conductor is under a potential difference of v so definitely this surface just behaves like a positive terminal and this one behaves like a negative terminal because your current is flowing in this direction i okay positive and negative terminal of the emf be there so actually what happens that inside inside conductor lot of electrons be there and uh, before before any potential difference what happens that your electrons be moving randomly and it is speed at that time uh, just about 10 raised to 5 meter per second this one is random speed random speed of the electrons inside conductor before potential difference but once so random speed that means what what you understand about random speed there is no any potential difference see there is no any potential difference so at that time its random speed be either here there just like this this one is speed of electron randomly anywhere and in any direction like that this one is called random speed but once if you have given a potential difference then what happens <coughs> then what happens it gets in a direction and direction that is given by the terminal of the conductor so because here this terminal be connected to the positive terminal of the cmf so on this surface an electric field be there and the direction of field lines inside this conductor is in this direction from left to right because this surface become just like positive plate so uh, electric field lines is in this direction from left to right all right so because field lines is in this direction and you have number of free electrons so number of free electrons that becomes directed in this direction opposite to the direction of electric field lines okay so it is like that why because your uh, electrons is negatively charged so obviously it will attract towards positive plate okay so like that it will move along on this direction so how much so after moving this one <coughs> it will cross some cross sectional area so because it is just cross crossing at every instant the same cross sectional area be there because your uh, conductor is uniform there is no changes in radii inside the infinite small small cross sectional area that's why okay so the same cross sectional area a uh, you just suppose the cross sectional area of this one b a yeah here we have written already okay all right that's why you just calculate inside this inside this conductor the net charge that how much charge be flowing all right 
so for this how you can find as well it's uh, it is uh, just going to be directed in a direction so in a direction every electrons facing in front of it there are number of electrons so that will go to collide and its collision d becomes greater as well it is going to be collide okay so a congestion that occurs inside the conductor and then your collision rate will go to decrease for very small distance and uh, this uh, distance is just about 5 plus 10 to 9 minus 8 meter about that okay that reaches and the inside the uh, conductor the speed of <coughs> electrons that will also uh, that also going to decrease and uh, that is just uh, uh, about 10 plus to minus 4 meter per second so this is speed because it is in a uh, unidirection so that is called drift velocity okay so that uh, becomes decreases and that uh, uh, reach up to 10 raised to minus 4 meter per second after collision all right after collision so from here we can find <coughs> drift velocity drift velocity all right so everything here we, you have so you just suppose that it's uh, drift velocity v vd it is just represented like that so you just from here find out the net charge that flowing through the cross-sectional area so that is different one you just find out that how much be the net charge inside this conductor of length a and cross-sectional area a so we just find out from here the net charge the net charge inside conductor okay so the net charge inside conductor b q let it be q so now from here your q that is equal to any it is very simple you have studied about it in electro state just like quantization of charge or charge is quantized so how much the charge be there that is net charge how much be there that is q is equal to n e but here n is number of electrons per unit volume all right and what stands n stands number of electrons per unit volume but you want net charge so for net charge you just rip. you want number of electrons okay that's why uh, this is written as n e a l this one is your volume volume of this conductor so you have this much among this much amount of charge so you just supposed to be equation one be there and next equation be there okay <coughs> now <clears throat> from here i just want to find that how much current how much be the current that is flowing through this conductor so if you want to find it then simply what you have to do you know that current i is how much q by t all right this one is q by t okay <clears throat> but because uh, if this one be the <coughs> current that passing through this conductor so just put the value of q and that q is uh, simply n e a l okay and this one is just divided by t okay yeah so current is of two types we will discuss later either it is average or instantaneous so we will discuss about it in next video but here i simply just want to derive okay so this one is how much so you are seeing here that l l be the length of this conductor and there is time be taken so simply 
this one is equal to n e a and uh, distance by time is v but here v is your drift speed drift speed means the speed of electrons under collision takes place inside this conductor so because your now your electrons is drifting it's not flowing fluently it just drifting due to the collision okay so this one is your current inside it is just a basic concept okay this one is your next equation all right now uh, in next class we will discuss about current all right so till then just keep in mind